we are going to start our layout on the bottom side of our PCB. We are going to connect all the paths around the chip. So what we would like to do, we would like to make the bottom layer active. Go down here into status bar, left click on this top and left click on the bottom. Now the bottom layer is active. That's why we can see very nicely all the paths on the bottom. Because we are going to do layout, we would like to switch into this edge edit mode. Click on this third button here. Then click on find, all off and check nets. Zoom in and we are going to start with this path. This is going to be our first connection. Hover cursor over this path and left click. You can see where this net is connected. You can see all the paths will be selected. This is a very simple connection. We only need to connect this path and this path together. And uh, as usual, there are more ways how you can do something. So there are more ways how you can do layout. One of the ways is uncheck nets, check pins, hover cursor over this path, left click, go to this options panel, be sure all your settings are same as I have them here, especially have a look uh, on this line width, we are using 0.2 millimeter, and uh, simply just left click on this next path. We have routed our first connection. The next connection is very simple. I can see these two paths are connected together. Just hover cursor over path, left click, and left click. The next path, what we are going to connect is this one. What do we need to do? Tell me. We would like to see where this path is connected. Click on find, check nets, uncheck pins, left click here. Okay, it is connected between top and bottom layer, but because we are doing layout on the bottom layer at this moment. So everything what we are going to do, we are going to connect these two paths together and we will place a via somewhere here. Later, we will connect the via with the paths on the top. How we are going to connect these two paths together? Uncheck nets, check pins, left click on this path and uh, left click somewhere here. Now go to options and this is a very important net. We would like to make it a little bit wider. Click on this line width and change it to 0.5 like this. Okay. Left click, left click. We would like to place the via somewhere here, so left click on this path, left click where you would like to place the via. Now go here and our active layer is bottom and when we place the via we would like to stay on the bottom layer. So the next layer will be still bottom. We are going to use our default via, which is selected here. So everything what we need to do is just go here, right click, add via. Right click, done. Go to find panel, check nets, uncheck pins. And uh, this is the next path what we are going to connect left click. Have a look how this path is connected. It is a very simple connection, basically just from bottom to top. So everything what we have to create is we need to route a very short track from this path somewhere here and we would like to place here a via. Now 
This kind of connection, very short track and via, it is called fan out. And to create fan out in Allegro, there is very nice feature for this. I really like this feature and uh, fan out in Allegro can be very, very useful. So we are going to learn how to create fan out. To create fan out, uh, we need to unselect this net, just left click somewhere. Uncheck nets, we are going to work with pins, so check the pins. Hover cursor over the path where you would like to create fan out, right click and select create fan out. We would like to place via from top to bottom, we would like to use our via. And we would like to place the via somewhere here. So I'm going to select west, north, east, south, west. Yeah. Okay. When we place this fan out, we created error. This, what you can see, it means there is error. There is violation. If you would like to know more about this violation, just left click somewhere to unselect everything, click on info, click on find panel, all of, check DRC errors. Now hover cursor over the error and left click. It tells this is DRC error and uh, there is problem with line to true hole via spacing. It should be minimum 0.2 millimeter, but at this moment the value is 0.1 millimeter. So this via is placed too close to this track. If you like, you can clear this violation. You can, for example, move this via or you can move this track. However, from my experience, it's not really necessary immediately clear these small violations. Why? What do you think? Why? Because, uh, for example, if you move this via now, let's say we move it somewhere here, and later when you will be doing layout on all the other layers in this area, later you may find out you need to move this via again. And uh, maybe it's better just wait until you can see all the other tracks on all the other layers in this area and then you move this via. So you don't have to, you don't need to move it twice. You just move it once and it will be in the correct place. So if you like for now, you can just ignore this violation. It is not a problem. We will fix this later. The next pins they are connected to ground. And before we connect these two pins, we would like to check what kind of pins they are. What do you think? Why? Why we would like to check what kind of pins these are? We would like to know if they are like power pins, because then it is very, very important how we connect the ground to these pins. Or we would like to know if they are uh, just some kind of input pins or configuration pins when uh, it's not really important how we connect the, the ground to these pins, how we do layout to these pins. So I'm going to make this little bit smaller because I would like to see also the schematic. Click on highlight command, go to find all of, check pins and left click on this pin. Okay, this one is important. It is connected directly to ground and it is power ground pin. The other one is this one. And again, this is really important. So the connections of these two pins is very important. It means we are going to connect them directly to this uh, exposed path, which is under the chip. Right click, cancel. Left click on this ground pin, go to options and double check the line width. This ground net, it is power net. So it should be using our special rule. It means the minimum line width 
should be set to 0 0.21 millimeter and it is correct so just left click here left click on this other part and left click here the next part is connected to plus 5 vcc and same as for these ground pins we would like to know what kind of pin is this make this smaller so you can see the schematic left click somewhere into empty space in pcb to unselect everything left click on highlight command click on find all of pins left click on the pin here it is this is not really important pin so everything what we can do we can simply just use a fan out i'm going back to allegro right click cancel now be sure pins are checked right click create fan out and okay if you like you can double check the width of the track which was used for this fan out this is power net so the width of this track should be 0 0.21 millimeter and uh, if you would like to know information about objects in your pcb you don't have to always use this info command sometimes you can just hover a cursor over object and then you will see this tooltip with some information and sometimes in this tooltip you will find the information which you would like to know for example if uh, we would like to know what is the width of this track which is here go to find check this client segment and hover cursor over this track width 0.21 millimeter perfect this one this is a uh, standard track so the width is 0.2 this one is 0.21 and this one is 0.21 if you would like to adjust the information which you can see in this tooltip you can do it go to setup data tip customization they call it data tip and here you can play with these settings yeah you can adjust the things which you can see inside the tooltip inside the data tip very often for example i adjust the information which you can see when you hover cursor over symbol sometimes i would like to see the value of the component for example so i change it here the next path is connected to plus 5 pvcc make this smaller left click somewhere in the pcb to unselect everything left click on highlight command all of pins left click on this path here it is this one is important it is very important how we are going to do layout for this pin because we would like to have direct connection with this capacitor this is the pin of this capacitor so we would like to have direct connection between these two pins and also maybe we would like to see the whole net so i'm going to check these nets and just click here okay make this full screen and let's connect this right click cancel left click left click options change the line width to 0 0.5 because this is a power net left click left click left 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 we are going to connect the next pin just hover cursor over this path to see what net is connected to this pin it's l gate one it means it's not power net so 
we do not really need to double check this pin in the schematic only what we need is we would like to see where it is connected in the PCB all off check nets left click on this pin and have a look it's only connected down here to this path everything what we need to do is place here a fan out left click to unselect everything uncheck nets check pins right click on this path create fan out ok this violation is maybe quite big so we would like to move this via a little bit left click somewhere into empty space to unselect everything left click on this move command left click on find filter all of vias click on options and i would like to show you something if you leave all the options set like this then when you try to move the via you will be moving only via that's not what we would like to have right click oops what we would like to do we would like to keep the via connected to this track so check this slide edge now if you left click on the via see this is much better this is exactly what we would like to have if you check this one it is very similar just the connection is uh, straight see but this is much better just move it for example somewhere here and left click now i would like to speak about something really important click on this find panel check symbols and uh, let's say we would like to move this component which is here watch this rat this blue line between this chip and this component which is here press left click to move component there are no rats can you see it right click oops if i go to options when i uncheck slide edge and when i try to move this component again watch this rat left click the rats are still there right click oops this is very important these rats they are very useful when you are doing placement and uh, sometimes may happen that these rats they suddenly disappear and when you are moving component you cannot see them in this situation go to this option panel and double check the settings here i'm speaking about this because uh, you know if it doesn't work if you cannot see these rats you may spend quite some time trying to figure out why it doesn't work and it happened to me so <laughs> i know what i'm speaking about and i included this in the course so i hope if something like this happened to you it will help you you will immediately know what to do before we continue i would like to speak about another very useful thing by now you probably notice we have to go very often into this uh, find filter panel and uh, to make your life easier you can set up very nice shortcuts have a look here so you don't have to use the filter panel you can just press one specific letter and the filter panel will automatically set so for example if you would like to work with pins you just press p if you would like to work with nets just press n also i created a few more shortcuts which you may want to use for moving via which you may want to use for doing layout or which you may want to use for doing fan out if you like you can uh, use this uh, config i will copy the file inside the 
inside the files which are included with uh, this uh, course. You will find it inside the LAN, ORCID and Allegro Essentials, project files, version 1, issue 1, other. Here is the file site.enova. Then copy this file into installation directory of your Allegro uh, inside share local PCB subdirectories. Here it is. Then go into your Allegro, switch it off, and switch it on again. Now I'm going to show you how these shortcuts work and we are going to learn how to use them. We are going to learn how to use this shortcut. Why? I don't want to use your shortcuts, <laughs> mine shortcuts. I would like to have my own shortcuts. Yeah? No problem. It's no problem. You can change the shortcuts. Uh, I just would like to speak about the shortcuts for two reasons. The first reason is I would like to show you how useful they can be. The, and the second reason is I'm going to use these shortcuts until end of this course. So when I use a shortcut, you need to know what is going to happen. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller so we can see the shortcuts and we can see also Allegro. And um, let's start with this filter shortcut. So what do you think what these uh, commands which are here, what they do? When I press N on my keyboard, then uh, all the objects in this fine filter, they will switch off. And in this next command, only the nets will switch on this here. If uh, I press P, then all the objects in this fine filter will switch off and only the pins will switch on. Let's try it. Okay. You can watch down here into command line. You will see what the letter I'm pressing on. I will click into Allegro. I will click somewhere here, here left click, and I will press N. So I pressed N, you can see it here in this command line, and you can see nets are checked. When I press P, pins are checked. When I press S, what is going to happen when I press S? Everything will switch off and symbols will switch on. So when I press S, only symbols are checked. This is very useful. It means when you are in Allegro and for example, very quickly you would like to see where this path is connected. You just press N on your keyboard, then hover cursor over the path and you can see where it is connected. Yeah. Now let's have a look on this shortcut, which is here. This shortcut is used for layout. This one is a little bit more complicated. Uh, if you would like to design more complicated shortcuts, I think it's a completely different course, but uh, I mentioned how you can do it. Yeah, you can, uh, you can use the script mode plus E command and you can figure out what the kind of commands you are running when you are doing something in Allegro and based on these commands, you can create these shortcuts. So this one is a little bit more complicated, but have a look what it does. If I go into Allegro and uh, when I would like to start doing the layout, when I would like to route this net from this path. So simply hover cursor over this path and press W. Wow. This is really cool. Do you remember what we had to do before? Before we had to go into this fine panel, we had to uncheck the, uh, the nets, we had to check the pins, and then we had to press left click 
on this path. Now I just hover my cursor over the path which I would like to start routing and press W. Much more simple. So just left click here, left click, left click. I'm going to change the Allegro to full screen so we can see better. I will zoom out a little bit and uh, let's continue with the layout but with our shortcuts. So we would like to see where this path is connected. Simply press N on your keyboard. Watch down here, okay? You will always see the command which I use. Hover cursor over this path and we can see it is connected here. So press W on your keyboard and connect this path together. Now we would like to see where this path is connected. Press N on your keyboard, hover cursor over the path and left click. Zoom out. Okay. So what we would like to do, we would like to connect these two paths on the bottom and then place a via somewhere here. Also, this is phase one net. So this one is important. We would like to make the track a little bit wider. Hover cursor over this path. Press W on your keyboard to start layout. Now left click, go to options, change the line width to 0.5 and continue. Left click, left click left click left click in the place where you would like to place via right click add via right click done we are going to connect the next path it's ugate1 press n hover cursor over the path left click to see where it is connected. Only what we need to do is place fan out on this path. We are going to use our new shortcut. Hover cursor over this path and press F on your keyboard. We would like to place the via on south. Okay. Now sometimes happen that you lose focus in the Allegro and when you try to apply command through your keyboard, nothing is happening. Have a look. It usually happens after you use this uh, fan out shortcut. When I press N on my keyboard, nothing is happening. Everything what you have to do, simply just left click somewhere here into this empty space in this panel. Just left click. Now when I press N on my keyboard, it works again. Yeah, you can see it is here. Hover cursor over this uh, next pin, enable one, left click to see where it is connected. Press W to start layout. Connect this test point and connect this path. Before we continue, I would like to speak a little bit about these uh, complicated shortcuts which are used when you need to hover cursor over an object. And uh, it is very important that if you, for example, use this W shortcut, then you need to keep your cursor on same position until all these commands are executed. If you move your cursor when these commands are still executing, sometimes may happen that this command, this shortcut, may look like it doesn't work and it will maybe even not work. Nothing will happen. So always when you are using shortcuts like this, hover cursor over the object Press shortcut, for example, W, w and wait, do not move the cursor. Wait until you can see 
that all this was executed until you can see the cursor is same again and you can start doing the layout don't do it like this like hover cursor press w and just go away from, from cursor with cursor see nothing happened go here press w nothing happened because i moved cursor too quickly go here press w and wait then move the cursor right click cancel let's go back to our board and continue press n on your keyboard hover cursor over power ok one pad left click check where it is connected and um, we need to place fan out on this pad hover cursor over the pad press f to place fan out on the south okay left click somewhere here into empty space in this panel to refocus the allegro so we can write next command and we are going to learn new shortcut we are going to learn how you can very simply move via so hover cursor over the via which you would like to move and the shortcut is mv move via watch down here in the command line so hover cursor over the via and write mv check this slight edge and left click press n check where this is connected press w left click left click press n on your keyboard left click on the next pin have a look where it is connected w on this pad to start layout left click and because this net is very important we are going to make this track a little bit wider go to line width and change it to 0 0.5 left click left 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 Have a look at the next pin and this one is quite special this one is connected to plus one v5 so what do we need to do we need to check this pin in schematic make this smaller left click somewhere into empty space in the pcb to unselect everything left click on highlight command left click to find filter and we would like to work only with the pins so we can use our shortcut just press p on your keyboard left click on this pad and uh, here it is this is very important net this is feedback net and it is very important how we do layout of this net we will connect this pin with this uh, divider directly on the bottom layer and then we will uh, connect this divider somewhere to this output of our regulator go back into our allegro press n to work with net left click on the pad to see where it is connected we are going to do layout on the bottom connect this pad to this one we will place a via somewhere here and a little bit later we will then connect this via with this output which is here w on this pad go to options change the line width to 0 0.21 this is power net enter left click left click left click make it wider again 
left click left click left click in the space where you would like to place via right click add via right click done if you have a look at this track it uh, doesn't look really very nice yeah it looks kind of ugly if you like you can improve it if you like you can make it look nicer however usually when i do layout i have two main stages of layout the first stage is the stage when i try to connect everything and once everything is connected then the second stage will start and i call the second stage improving the layout because we are still in this first stage when we are connecting the paths when we are connecting the pins normally i wouldn't really spend uh, much time trying to improve these kind of uh, small things same reason as uh, i'm not uh, trying to improve or fix these small violations basically you don't know what's going to happen a little bit later maybe a little bit later you need to move these tracks so uh, if you spend time trying to fix this and a little bit later if you need to move it again then you wasted your time ideally you would like to improve the layout when everything is connected when everything is connected you see what is around this track and you can see where is the space and you can see how you can improve how you can do layout of this track so even it uh, doesn't look very nice at this moment you can leave it and a little bit later when we connect everything then we will improve it we will make it nicer press n on your keyboard hover cursor over the next pin and left click this pin is not connected see there is no net name it says dummy net and you can see there are no rats going out of this pin but if you like you can double check it make this smaller left click somewhere into empty space to unselect everything and um, i highlighted this net before we would like to unhighlight it click on unhighlight all click on highlight press p on your keyboard to work with paths or to work with pins and left click on this pin you can see this one is uh, selected and also this one if uh, just you would like to be sure what you just selected when you clicked on this pin you can just left click in the schematic into empty space to unselect everything and then left click on this pin again now you can very nicely see this pin is not connected the next one we would like to check also the next one in the schematic because it is connected to ground so right click oops and left click on the next pin okay this one is connected to ground directly to ground this is the configuration pin which specifies what is the LDO output voltage what we can do we can very simply just place a fan out here right click cancel the highlight command hover cursor over this path press f on your keyboard to place fan out we would like to place the via on east okay because we use the fan out command don't forget left click into empty space in this panel the next path is plus 5p ldo make this smaller 
left click in the schematic to unselect everything, left click in the PCB to unselect everything, click on highlight command and press P on your keyboard to work with paths. Ah, okay, left click into panel, press P again. Now left click and this pin is important. We would like to connect this pin directly with the pin of this capacitor, with this pin. Okay. And then once they are connected, press N. Once they are connected, a little bit later, we need to connect these pins together with this pin. Zoom in, hover cursor over the path, press W. Double check the width because this is power net. And maybe we would like to make it even wider. And place a via somewhere here. So left click, left click, right click, add via, right click, done. Click on unhighlight. Oops, click on unhighlight all right click done zoom in the next pin and uh, this one is connected to plus v in so we need to check it in the schematic make this smaller left click in the schematic to unselect everything left click in the pcb to unselect everything left click on highlight command and press P to work with pins. Left click on this pin and uh, we need to connect this pin directly to this capacitor. Left click on this pin of C2 capacitor because we would like to see it in the PCB and make this a little bit bigger. Okay press N and left click on this pad to see what else is connected to this net. We are going to connect these two pads together on the bottom layer. We will place a via somewhere here and later we will connect all the other pins together. Zoom in, press W. Change the line width. If you like, you can directly select uh, 0.21 or you can select this constraint. Constraint, it means uh, it will take the width from the constraint manager, from the rules which we set up. So I can also select this one. Left click. See, it says 0.21. Left click. left click, change the width to 0 0.5, left click, left, 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 right click, add via, right click, done, left click to unselect everything, left click on unhighlight command, all, right click, done. The next pin is plus VREF3, make this smaller, unselect everything, highlight pin, left click. We would like to connect these two together and uh, we would like to double check where they are connected. Press N, left click. Okay, we can uh, connect all these paths on the bottom layer. It's not a problem. This path is on the top layer. So we can just go around all these components and connect it here. Zoom in, 
press W make this smaller change the width and connect also the other component which is up here and select everything and highlight command all right click done have a look at the next pin and uh, this one is enable LDO this one is not a power net so we don't have to check this in the schematic simply press N on your keyboard left click on this path and have a look where it is connected this is very simple connection just press W to start layout change the width to constraint it is 0.2 millimeter and simply just connect the pins together we need to check the next pin in the schematic make this smaller and select everything click on highlight work with pins left click and uh, again this pin is also important we need to connect this pin with this capacitor with this pin remember we need to connect this pin with this one press n to have a look what else is connected to this net hmm this is plus 5V VCC. Maybe what we could do, we could create a power plane. We will, uh, yeah, we will create a power plane which will be under all these components. And if uh, we would like to connect these components to this power plane, we simply just put there a via. We put their fan out and we will connect this path to the power plane. You will see. But still, it is very important that we connect these two paths together so what we are going to do we are going to connect them together and then I will place a via here which will be connected to the power plane press W on this path be sure the line width is 0 0.21 because it is power I will go maybe somewhere here I will change the width to 0 0.5 notice this uh, special cursor can you see it it means uh, there will be violation if uh, I move it now there is no violation this it means there is violation because the tracks are routed too close to each other so ideally when you are doing layout you don't want to route like this okay with violations you rather route without violations left click left click left click left right at via right done left click to unselect everything left click to unhighlight all right click done zoom in we need to check this in the schematic make this smaller and select and select highlight work with pins left click this pin is not really important and because it is connected to plus 5 VCC we say there will be power plane so everything what we need to do is just to place there a fan out make this bigger hover cursor over the path and press F 
is is fine okay left click here we would like to move this via hover cursor over the via m v move via place it i don't know maybe somewhere here left click if you would like to adjust this track go to this find filter be sure you are in edge edit idle and uh, we would like to work with client segments here we created shortcut for this press c on your keyboard to work with client segments hover cursor over the segment which you would like to adjust left click and simply just move it like this and now you may be asking why we have connected these two pins so complicated way robert cannot you see they are connected to the same net yeah have a look this pin is connected to plus 5 vcc this pin is connected to plus 5 vcc so maybe we could just connect them here together we don't need this via which is here theoretically yes you can connect them even practically you can connect these two pins together here but i didn't want to this pin is really important and the connection between this pin and this capacitor is really really important so i didn't want to connect this pin directly here because it could influence this connection between this capacitor and this pin yeah this pin if we connect it directly here this pin could influence this pin if this pin is connected after this capacitor it's okay that's why we place the via here and then through the power plane it will be connected here and it will go back here so the reason why i didn't connect these two pins together here is because this pin is important and it should be connected directly to this capacitor which is here click on unhighlight go to options all right click done the next pin is uh, also connected to a power net make this smaller unselect unselect highlight press p to work with paths left click we would like to connect this pin directly to this capacitor left click make this bigger we would like to connect these two pins together press n have a look what else is connected to this net perfect right click cancel hover cursor over the path press w left click change the width to 0 0.5 left click left 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 zoom in press n left click i'm checking where it is connected press w change the width left click change the width left click left 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 zoom in press n left click press w change the width left click to route the next pin we need to have a look into schematic make this smaller left click left click highlight pins left click pins left click this is important track left click and left click have a look 
on our PCB. We are going to place fan out here and a little bit later we will connect the VR from the fan out with this output which is here. Zoom in, right click cancel, press F. Now, you don't have to always uh, directly specify the direction of the fan out. What you also may want to use is, for example, this. Yeah, I'm going to select this and you will see how it works. Okay. Perfect. Correct direction. The next part uh, is also a power net. It is ground net. We need to check it in the schematic. So make this smaller, go into our schematic, left click, left click, highlight, press P, press P, left click. This is not really important, net. Only what we need to do, we need to just place a fan out here. Make this bigger, right click, cancel, F, OK. Press N, left click, press W, press N, left click. We are going to connect this parts together and a little bit later we will connect this via with this track W press N left click and we just need a fan out here F OK, left click, move via, and maybe somewhere here. We have connected everything around the chip, and uh, now we are going to connect the rest of the pins. Zoom in. We are going to connect all the pins which are connected to this plus 5 VCC. A little bit earlier we mentioned that uh, this plus 5 VCC it is going to be a power plane. So everything what we have to do with these pins is just place fan out there. First highlight the net so we can very nicely see all the pins which are connected to this net. Click on highlight, press N to work with net and left click here. Right click done. Now you can see all the pins which are connected to this net. Zoom in. We are going to work with fan out command. It is here. Click on this button and press P to work with paths. Hover cursor over the path and left click. Maybe this is not exactly what we would like to use. Maybe we would like to use a little bit wider tracks. Right click, oops. Check this override line width and we are going to use 0 0.5 millimeter. Enter. Left click. This is much better. Left click. Left click. Left. Left. This is really quick. That's why I like the fan out in Allegro. Left, left. This one is maybe not the best one, so right click, oops, and change the direction to north, left click. Perfect. Right click, done. Click on unhighlight, all, and zoom. Have a look at the next pin, press N, left click. Everything what we have to do is just place a fan out here. Hover cursor over the path, press F. 
select direction, OK. Left click here, press N, left click on the next path. Hover cursor over this path, press F to place fan out. Zoom in on the next unconnected path. I think it is this one here. And we need to connect it to ground. There will be many paths which are connected to ground. So what we are going to do, we are going to highlight the ground net. We are going to highlight all the paths which are connected to this ground net. Click on highlight. Press N on your keyboard to work with nets and left click on this path. Right click, done. I told you, number of pins or number of paths which are connected to ground. Some of these paths, they are not important. And uh, we will connect these paths just through a simple fan out. Some of these paths, they are really important, like this one which is here. And we will connect these paths through multiple vias and uh, we will draw a small polygon around this path. You will see. First, we are going to connect the simple paths with uh, just a simple fan out, the not important paths. Zoom in, left click to be sure nothing is selected, left click on this fan out command, press P to work with pins and left click on this path. Left click also on this one. Or maybe we would like to do it a little bit differently. Maybe like this way. Okay. This one we would like to put here. This one this one, this one, and these two. Right click, done. To connect the next path, we are going to use a shape and multiple vias. Zoom in. And uh, to add a shape around this path, we are going to use these buttons, which are here. We are going to use this one, this shape and rectangle, left click. Be sure you are going to draw the shape on each bottom layer. Be sure the type of this shape is dynamic copper. And also what we would like to do, we would like to assign a net to this shape. What net we need to assign to the shape? The ground net. Very simple way to assign a net is just right click, select this assign net and left click on the path which already has the net. See, it automatically choose ground. Everything what we have to do now is just left click somewhere here and left click, right click, done. Hmm. This is not really what we would like to create. If I go into visibility and if I disable this uh, boundary around the shape, check here, this is what we have created. We have created a piece of copper which is here and which is not even connected to this pin. This is what we would like to create, I will show you. This is the finished PCB. We would like to create piece of copper around the path and we would like to then place vias inside this copper. This is what we have. What's wrong? Do you know? The problem is the type of connection which is used to or which is specified how the copper, how the shape is going to be connected to path. And there are number of uh, different type of connections which you, which you can choose and in our case what we would like to choose is we would like to have direct connection of this copper to the path. I will then show you uh, different kind of options. 
you have uh, more options how you can uh, specify what is going to be connection from this shape to this part you can specify it locally just uh, for this specific shape if you click on this uh, arrow which is here and if you go to find be sure shapes are checked now left click on this shape right click select these parameters and here in thermal relief connects you can specify the connections for this specific uh, shape which is here you can specify for example full contact that's what you would like to have the thing is this will only work for this shape we would like to set this globally for all the future polygons or shapes what uh, we are going to create so i will just close this click on setup design parameters shapes edit global dynamic shape parameters click here and we would like to create or we would like to set the connection of these shapes to smd pins all smd pins in our board to be full contact okay okay ah now it looks much better if i go here into visibility only what is missing is this small piece which is here and uh, everything what we have to do is just move these tracks a little bit so be sure you are in idle go to find we would like to work with client segments so press c on your keyboard hover cursor over this segment left click and move it a little bit and also move this a little bit perfect this is exactly the kind of shape which we would like to use in our design everything what is missing to finish this is to place two vias here and uh, the simplest way to place a via is just copy it from somewhere for example from here so we are going to copy this via and we will place two vias on our shape to connect this uh, shape to connect this polygon together with this path to a ground plane to copy this via left click into empty space to be sure nothing is selected left click on this copy command press v on your keyboard to work with vias hover cursor over a via right click select snap pick to via because when we will be copying the via we would like to hold it in the middle left click now left click somewhere here and left click somewhere here right click done if you would like to adjust the size of this shape click on this arrow left click on the shape now left button on your mouse hold it down and move it maybe like this right click done zoom out and have a look at the next path it is this one we would like to connect this path exactly the same way as we connected this one so what we can do we can just manually draw shape and place the vias here or we could copy what we have created here and copying this would be much easier and much faster so let's do it left click somewhere into empty space to be sure nothing is selected left click on this copy command go to find be sure vias and shapes are checked because we are going to work with shapes and vias press left button on your mouse hold it down and select this now be very careful where you hold the cursor when you press left click for example if i hold the cursor here and when i press left click that's the point where i'm holding this new object which i'm going to copy 
we don't want to hold it here we would like to hold it in the middle of this path because that will be easy way how we can place it here right click oops hover cursor over this path right click snap pick to pin see now we are holding this new object exactly in the middle of this path everything what we have to do is just hold cursor over this path right click snap pick to pin and perfect move this up and place it also here so right click snap pick to pin right click done let's connect the next path for example this one add shape right click assign net left click left click left click right click done left click copy vias right click via left click left click right click done what other paths we need to connect to ground on this bottom layer zoom out and have a look this one and this one zoom in and i'm going to show you how you can reduce number of clicks when you understand how allegro works and when everything is set up correctly have a look we are going to add shape so left click right click assign net left click 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 right click done so what do you think this was a little bit faster no and now you can ask if there is faster way how to work in allegro why you don't show this to us in this course i'm sure you know why <laughs> because uh, there are so many settings in allegro and uh, if for example you have something selected in your allegro and when i don't tell you click into empty space to unselect everything then if you have something selected and if you click on a command your allegro is going to behave differently as what you can see in the video and uh, you may get confused i don't want you to get confused i would like you to understand what we are doing how allegro works and later when you finish this course and you understand everything then you can uh, make your work quicker you can use shortcuts and you don't have to always unselect everything because in your mind in your head you will exactly know what is the status of your allegro what are the settings in what mode you are yeah what command you are running and then you can very quickly use the mouse and click on specific commands but in this video it is very important it works for everybody that's why very often i do even the clicks which you don't have to do for example i tell you click into empty space even if you have nothing selected just to be sure everybody who is following this course have nothing selected i'm sure you understand okay let's connect also the other pin we are going to copy this connection copy shapes vias select this right click pin and place it here right click pin right click done what now maybe you noticed uh, even we have created these shapes and we place that these vias these ground pins they are still not connected together how do we know they are not connected together because there are these rats these blue lines 
Once we connect these pins together, these rats, they will disappear. So how we are going to connect these pins together? We are going to create ground planes. On the layer 2 and on the layer 5, we are going to create big shapes. We will assign ground net to these big shapes and uh, basically all our pins which are on our PCB, then they will be connected through these vias to these ground planes and on the ground planes they will all connect together. Let's do it. <laughs> 